In this movie, we're going to talk about the required attribute. On the Mozilla Developer Network website, if you look at input, you'll find the required attribute listed down here. It is exactly what you would expect. If you add the required Boolean attribute to an input tag, the browser will not let you submit the form unless the user has filled in that form. Let's see an example. Here we have two simple inputs, and this first one I'm going to make required. Go back and refresh, and then try to submit without typing something up here. The browser will prompt me and say, please fill out this field, and it will cancel the form submittal. If I type something in here, and then press submit, you'll notice that it did indeed submit the form. Similarly, if you put required on several input elements and you try to submit the form, it'll prompt you for the first one, and then it'll also prompt you for the second one. Once all the required form elements have some value in them, the form will successfully submit. Something that's particularly interesting about this is that it looks different in different browsers. If I submit this form in Firefox, you'll notice all of the different required fields are highlighted in red, and it comes up with this gray dialog. Once again, Chrome looks like this. It's this way because different browsers style their alerts differently. If you want to style your alert with CSS, you actually have to create it yourself. That may mean making a DOM element or a number of DOM elements, doing all of the stuff that we used to do with JavaScript. The point of this required attribute is it makes it very simple to create forms without having to go through the rigmarole of building and styling error messages. There's one other interesting thing that you can do with the required Boolean attribute, and that has to do with CSS. Here I've created a style tag, and inside of this style tag, I'm going to target all the input elements that are required. In other words, all the input elements that have the Boolean required attribute on them. I can say background color is a light red, and you'll notice that all of the required elements have a light red. I could also give them a different border color, a different size. There are a whole number of interesting ways I could style these elements using CSS, and I don't have to give them a unique class, I just need to use the required pseudo selector. So that just about does it for required. Pretty simple, but very useful.